What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, coach? Uh, game's about to start. You good? Yeah, no, no. We're, uh, yeah, we're playing the game today. We're gonna win. It's fine. Yeah. Are you gonna, like, pay attention? I feel like you need to do things. Don't you need to make a substitution or something? Like, what do we, um... Ah, it's taken care of. Watch. Oh, um, we won? Oh, dude, we'd be fine. I'm naturally lazy, and you clicked on this video, so you are too. That's why we're here to talk about the way that you can be lazy even during a match in Football Manager, save yourself time, and avoid forgetting to actually do things, because work smarter, not harder. It's a part of the game I've not talked about before, but if we go into Football Manager, into our Florence store for save, and oh, would you look at that, we're top of the league. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, would you look at that? We're top of the Europa League group. <laughs> would you look at... I mean, we're just in the cup quarterfinal. It's not that cool. Anyways, you go up to your tactics section. You know, we just made a video about this tactic and it being my favorite tactic. If you want to check that out, the link is up at the top of this video. But if we keep going, we'll hit match plans. Now, this is something that can allow you to automate what actually happens in the match. And I feel like almost nobody knows about it. And so I'm just serving my purpose to the football manager ecosystem by making a video about it. The way this works is I'm going to create a match plan. Let's say this is a match plan for league games, right? This is my match plan when we are playing in league games. You can also import and export stuff. I'm not going to export any of them because match plans are very specific to your team and how good you are against other teams. So there's no thing I can make here that's going to make your gaming experience better on Football Manager, right? Them, this isn't tactics or training here. This is very team specific. But you can export and import various ones that you find in the Steam Workshop, of course. You go to the top right, you click Add Scenario, and then you are selecting a match strategy. This is something that will automatically become part of what is happening in the match, and you do not actually have to touch a thing. Let's say if you were drawing in the final 20 minutes, so from 70 to 90 minutes, you want to make sure this is with your current tactic. So this is the one that I'm using. It's called Dwarfing. And you want to switch your mentality to when you're drawing up to attacking. You can allow substitutions for tired players or any players, but this is really if you are simulating the match in its entirety. And you can also add instructions. You can change the directness of the passing. You can change different traits like pass into space, work the ball into the box. Maybe you want to play out of defense in these last 20 minutes because you aren't winning the game yet, where you're nervous to do that most of the time, but you kind of need to do it in the final 20 minutes. And you also want to make sure that you shoot on sight. You can focus your play every single thing you can do tactically, even though the UI here isn't nearly as good as perhaps it should be, you can do when it comes to the match plan as well. So let's say we want to raise our defensive line. Let's say we want to raise our line of engagement. That'd be down here, much higher line of engagement. So we get way up the field and I want to get stuck in as well. And this ticks on. I'm going to trigger the press much more often. So we're going to press incredibly hard if we're still drawing in the final 20 minutes in the league. And then that attaches this match plan to my current tactic and will make those changes automatically while the match is going on. But this isn't necessarily just based in the amount of time, as you might have seen. Let's say we are winning by one or more goals. Then at the time, instead of picking a specific time, you can say 10 minutes after conceding a goal. So we just gave up one goal and I'm gonna shift us back to cautious just for the 10 minutes after conceding that goal to make sure that we get control of this. I'm gonna lower the tempo. I'm gonna be more disciplined. I'm gonna try to slow the game down after we concede. I'm gonna go to shorter passing and we're gonna add that. Like this is in league games. If we are up by one or more goals, the 10 minutes after conceding, we're gonna slow the game down, get our team into cautious and this is some excellent stuff because how often do you forget to critically think about these situations in a game and how you might be able to better handle them football managers are spreadsheet staring game we all know that you're taking a lot of time looking at spreadsheets and just having a grand old time but you don't really believe there's a speed to the game or a pressure the game puts on you but when you're in a match you don't pause nearly often enough to consider all of the different elements of what you are watching and how you can best react to them. Well, if you put together a match plan to slow the game down after you concede or to get much more aggressive right after you score one goal to try and score a second quickly while they are rattled, you know, whatever tenets you want to add to your team. Well, this is essentially an extension of your tactic that's going to come into play automatically when these situations present themselves. And you're going to get to see this in action because I'm going to make a few more of these and then I'm going to turn on my stream and these are actually going to be used on the stream that I'm doing today. And so we do actually have a couple of match... Oh my goodness. 
But we do have a couple of match plans that ideally we were going to save. We didn't. So we're going to put in a couple of match plans right now. A few moments later. So if we go down by a goal, that's what we're doing. If in the other one that I really thought was useful is if we go up by a goal, is to bring it down to balanced. Shorter passing. One hour later. Where's the time wasting? Two hours later. Cool. Three hours later. Whatever, dude. <sighs> Didn't even know this existed? Yeah, well, we're making a video about it. And the last part of the video is to show you how it actually works in a match. And of course, I can't play a match unless it's on stream. So here we go. We are up 2-0 in 17 minutes. So we're about to, hopefully, with one more goal, we're about to see uh, how well this match plan feature works here. Goal time for the Dorfers. Soden. Chestek. Balas, Igor Soden. Oh my goodness, it's Axel Perez! And it's no, don't tell me it didn't work. Don't tell me it didn't work. No! Oh, we need the match plans to work. Is it more than three? I don't know. Balas has a hat trick, though, so. Do you manually activate the match plans? How? Our match plan is not working. Right, we've got our league match plan. And then we just click use. And the button does nothing. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so... Okay. So I click use. Okay. We figured it out. Oh, it's Sestak! So apparently you've got to activate your match plans every game. Because we are now up by three goals. And our, like, adjusted match plan is not kicked in. Which is disappointing, right? Because we were hoping that it would. Oh, Vanderhorst! And there it is! Oh, and Vanderhorst! There's always a plan B. What's that achievement? Use a pre-save match plan during a match. Oh, it kicked in! The match plan works! It works! As you can see, you actually, um, all you have to do, all you have to do is set it up and hit use it for the next match, and then it will apply for every match. But the one thing I would say beware of is this didn't kick in in the last match when we were up by three plus goals because we had also allowed a goal. So I think our two different match plans were kind of canceling each other out there. But this is a great way to remind yourself to try and kill off a game and those sorts of things right here. And it works. And to help out everybody's laziness, you can set up these different match plans and then just click the thing at the bottom once and it will apply every single time. So maybe you only set it up for Euro League games. Actually, wait a second. That might be how it works because we set it up for Copenhagen and this is our next Europa League match. So it's per competition. That's even cooler. You set it up per competition. If you make it available for a competition, it'll be there the next time you go into the competition. That actually, that makes the most obvious sense. And so it just kicked into gear for us. That's neat. I love it. A feature in the game works. Let's go, baby. Uh, let's check out potential substitutions. We got Christian Kuba. Why is Linus Volkvist in and when did he get subbed in? Why? I don't have any subs set up as part of my match plan, though. I don't have any subs set up as part of my match plan. That's disturbing. When did it happen? The 34th minute. That was before we were up 3-0. This is before the match plan kicked in, dude. They just subbed out my left back for no reason. For a guy that, like, can barely play left back in Linus Volkvist. Why? The audacity of that. I was so happy about match plans for a second, and now all of a sudden... I mean, there's nothing more dangerous than allowing something to make random substitutions for your team. There is nothing more dangerous than that. That can completely single-handedly ruin a game for you. Completely single-handedly ruin a game for you. If that happens to you, completely and single-handedly ruin it. Now we're at, we're 25 minutes here. We're back in the tapes. 12 heading. All right, so let's watch that this. Was an so from what mess. we just saw, this just like keeps going. So I'm going to mute myself because obviously I don't notice it. All right, so we're zipping, 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 zipping. It's taking the slight injuries, indicating he wants to come off. Yeah, and then it just came through that that was the substitution we made. Okay, so that means that when a player gets injured, that player is going to be subbed off, even if... That, I think, is a glitch. I think I find that particularly annoying. Okay, so the final word on match plans is that they do work, but they also allow your assistant manager, even if you specify them to make no proactive tactical subs, 
uh, which, of course, when you go into the match plan here, you do have scenarios, right? Like a different strategy. So if we're winning by one goal, you want substitutions for tired players. Obviously, all mine have none. But when you have a match plan active in a match, the assistant manager will make injury substitutions for you. I don't think that should be a part of the feature, but it's something you should know. Obviously, players do not get injured all that often, and that was a significant injury for Igor Shodin, uh, even though it looked like in the base, like the way the game was laid out, that he was actually going to be fine. But other than that, it seems like you can stop the game from making substitutions, so it doesn't look like match plans are actually that broken. Just a little annoying that they'll sub off players that are injured but can keep playing, uh, but uh, match plans are still effective. So overall, I feel like match plans are useful for people that don't want to have to put in all of the work when it comes to handling the in-match tweaks or remembering to do all of these different in-match tweaks that you like, or perhaps you just like simulating games, in which place match plans are very, uh, very, very, very effective for you. That's my full description on the match plans. The full piece.